Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to tie this beautiful scarf called clockwork. All right, here it is. Um, the clockwork actually has a clock on it. Look at that. Um, and it's kind of a retro scarf. It's not your typical scarf. It's The colors are really, they're not subtle, they're bold, and there's swirls, and there's a little something vintagey and old-fashioned about it, which I really like. Um, one thing about clockwork is that it doesn't look like a clock once it's on your head. Just letting you know, okay, unless you like have a thing that you want clocks on your head. Um, it creates more like swirls. I'm going to show you how I was wearing it earlier. I'll put it back on just for you. So um, this, I don't know if we're calling it rust or mustard, but it's something very warm and yummy. Uh, and I'm going to be tying with one end short and one end really, really long. Okay. Here it goes. On my head, one inch short, and I'm gonna tie it at an angle right there. Tie it in the back, just a quick knot. All right, see what I mean by that little, that vintagey feeling? Something really special. Okay, I know this looks a little funny. We're gonna get there. There's always that in between. Um. And I have here a green shimmery that I'm going to wrap it up with. Here's my green shimmery. And again, the green shimmery is going to have one end shorter and one end longer. And the shimmery, I folded it in thirds. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's in thirds. And um, angles. Angles are something really interesting to talk about. you got to find your angle that works for you. Um, for some people, it's smack in the middle of their head. I don't think for most people. But um, here's where I'm going to put it, just a little, it's kind of a dramatic angle, I think. Actually, it always throws my husband off when I wear my tuchel and angles, but whatever, he gets used to it. All right, let's finish this off. So I have one shorter end, one longer end, and now this longer end of the shimmery is going to go up so easily, making another beautiful angle. Again, I don't like it right in the middle of my head, so I'm aiming for that angle to be at the side, like that. Yeah. Oh, there it is right in the middle of my head, like I said. Okay, and it's going to go around the back and up and tuck into itself. Okay, now the next part is going to be getting the other end up. So in order to do that, let's just tuck this in nicely. Yeah, that's good. In order to do that, I'm going to flip it around to the other side. Uh-huh, there you go. And the reason I didn't leave it on this side is because then I would have the same angle like that. And I just, I want it, I want it to go kind of later, like, you know, a woven look. So this end is going to go up. And I want to pleat it a little bit so the ends don't show, the seams don't show. And bring it up, up, up. And um, just a word. The natural place for this scarf to go is over, and that would be okay, but I still want my angle, so I'm really having to guide it a lot, not a little, a lot, um, getting it to how I want it to be backwards. Uh, sorry, not backwards, at a diagonal. All right. You are now, by the way, in the bathroom that I painted with my kids when my husband was out of town. I did WhatsApp him and sent him a picture, but I never do these things when he's in town because it really throws him off. It's like such a production. I think we did a pretty good job, and I love this color, so uh, we all felt really good. Okay. Come on. Up you go. There you go. And instead of going here, it's going backwards. Oh, it does not even look angled from this camera. You'll have to trust me. It is very angled. I can feel it on my head. And it goes around the back and up, 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 and tucks into itself. There you go. Hmm, I like it. It's interesting. I think that I tied um, the autumn wine kit very, very similarly. Um, maybe you have that. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, for those of you who like to be a little bit adventurous, I usually wear my tuchels like this, as you know, but this particular scarf lends itself to a turban really nicely because of all those swirls. So I was fooling around today, and I'll show you what I got. Um, hang on. 
it's just a classic turban, but I don't usually do it. I had an era where I, I wore like long black dresses and high turbans. Um, my mother-in-law has a great fashion sense, and I think she was doing that like, you know, one year before me, and I did just like by osmosis, I got her style. Um, but it was odd, because I was like 25. Okay, so basically I have my same um, folded scarf, and I'm putting it on upside down. This actually she taught to me, and gathering it and crossing it. There you go. And again, I don't want the crisscross smack in the middle of my head. I want it on the side. Make a bit more. Don't laugh yet, guys. Don't laugh yet. See how rich that is? Okay. Now my daughter was in the room. It's Thanksgiving morning, and she was um, eating spelt pancakes when I walked in like this. And, you know, she didn't think it looked so awesome. But I don't know. Sometimes... Oh, that's a Sometimes you just want to break out a little bit. Okay. So, the truth is that if I wasn't used, so used to the way I usually look, I would really like this. I could actually really get into this look. I might even like, that's it. Okay, here we go, my new look. I just do that all day. Um, so, yeah, I wonder what you think. I'm actually curious to hear how many of you change it up between like the tichel look and the turban look, and if you feel comfortable. Um, but as you saw, the turban look was really super easy. I'll just whip you through that again. No knots, really, except the last one. You're upside down. You're gathering the pieces. You're crisscrossing. I am wearing a volumizer underneath, right around here. This extra little piece, I would tuck it in just to make it neater. You know, I want to get it in. I would probably wear my volumizer a little bit higher, more on the crown of my head, and twist it around, and boom, there you got it. Me and my turban of the day. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this entertaining little clockwork video. And Arif Kamaka's turban. Oh my gosh, I cannot get it good again. Okay, one second. Anyway, have a beautiful day.